everyone. Long time no see. I honestly don't even know where to really start this. I was not feeling a lot of the toxicity here in the vinyl community. Uh, I'm still seeing quite a bit of toxicity, but you know what? I thought that I was going to let the toxicity discourage me from making videos and from continuing something that I started because I absolutely love making videos. Um, I don't want to quit making videos because it's something that I love to do. I love to sit here and film and then I love to go and edit them and put them together. And I love that they make people happy. I love that people are able to connect with me through music. And um, at the end of the day, I'm not going to let the toxicity get to me. I really let it get to me for a while. I'm still trying to kind of process and let a lot of the toxicity go. Um, I'm really working on my mental health this year. That is like my number one priority over everything this year. Um, and so with that being said, I'm not forcing myself to make videos. I'm not forcing myself to put stuff out there. Um, I just really want to be able to make videos that I want to make. I want to put stuff out organically. Um, I'm just not going to force myself into putting stuff out here this year. I want to make sure that I am mentally okay <laughs> more than anything. Um, I actually switched jobs recently, so I've been kind of stressed out with that. And that's also been a big part of why I've not been here. Um, I'm also on my last year of college right now, so I finish up in December and classes are getting harder and things like that. So I'm just, I don't have a lot of free time right now, essentially. And I'm trying to make the best of everything and I really am just focusing on myself this year and I'm not going to focus on pleasing everybody else. I'm going to focus on pleasing myself. So yeah, I'm kind of doing <laughs> my own thing this year. I'm not going to have um, uploads every week. I'm sure of it. Uh, I'm just going to kind of upload when I can. You know, I really honestly have no plans so far. Normally I would like kind of plan out what type of videos I want to do. But I honestly, I just... I don't know it'll it'll come to me when it comes to me I guess I just have been struggling a lot lately um, to find happiness in in a few situations and I think maybe um, this break for like a month uh, and a half has been really good for me um, just mentally to not like feel like I have to upload something or I have to be here um, so yeah, that was kind of nice. Um, I know I'm going to have a couple haul videos coming up. I may do a record store day video if people want to see that from me. I normally do like a list reaction. Um, I know the list has been up for a little bit now, so it may be a little late to do that <laughs> um, by the time I get around to it. So I don't know if I'll end up doing that video or not. Um, but basically, I've gotten a lot of records since... Um, my last haul in December and I'm gonna kind of have to break it down into a couple parts so um, I'm gonna do part one today I'll probably honestly film both parts while I'm sitting here but I'm just gonna break it down into parts so it's easier to edit and it doesn't overwhelm me like I said I don't want to make anything difficult on me I'm trying to make things less challenging on myself this year um so yeah now that i've rambled for like five minutes almost good god i need some of these things i actually got like kind of at the end of december like after i did my christmas haul and things um i got a few records in the mail and and then in january i mean i bought some stuff and i've also bought some stuff this month in february so um heck this may even go up in march so i don't really know this is going to be kind of a collective haul essentially um, so the first thing that I got was Mott by Mott the Hoople. This is an album that I have been searching for for my collection for quite some time. And um, my friend Mike, 
he actually is starting kind of like a pop-up record shop and he's been buying like small collections here and there and just picking up stuff to have his stock for his store and this was in a collection that he bought and I had messaged him and I was like Mike if you are willing to part ways with this and sell this to me I will legitimately buy this from you um so I bought this from him he kind of you know looked at it and priced it and sent it to me and I'm super excited to have it because this is one of my favorite albums um that they released and I do actually have it already clean and nice and pretty uh normally I wouldn't have them clean but you know here it is it's absolutely stunning uh, it's on the red Columbia label the next record that I got in the mail in December was actually one um, that come out I think it was like the 10 and I was actually gonna go to my local record store to pick this up when it released uh, because they had an indie exclusive of this album and we ended up having a really big storm come through my area and it hit right over by the record store and knocked it out of power um, thankfully the store was okay there was nothing damaged at the store um, but a lot of people um, lost their houses right before Christmas and it was very devastating and um, so I decided I wasn't gonna go out that, that day um, I stayed in and I tried to stay safe and so I ended up ordering a copy of this album from Mike at the in groove um, he has a YouTube channel and he has a website for his store I will leave both of them down below if you've never ordered from him he literally has some of the best shipping I've ever seen on a record and I have ordered from him several times recently and I've really enjoyed every time I've ordered from him. He's, he's just always sent stuff so neat and well packaged. It's awesome. But um, the record I'm talking about is Green Day BBC Sessions. The indie exclusive is on this like it said milky clear but it's kind of just like a tan clear kind of vinyl it's not really like super translucent or anything um yeah it's it's okay I'm not a huge fan of the color the one on the Green Day web store was blue and pink like the tie in the BBC sessions text down here and I think I would have kind of liked that a little bit more but I also wanted to support my local record stores I try to do that um, if I know that there's going to be an indie release, I try to just get the indie release instead because I love supporting my local stores. Um, this has been something that I've been really excited for, um, since they announced it and I just I had to pick it up. So I'm glad I have it. I made a trip to my local record stores. I think it was like the week of Christmas, like right before Christmas I went and I ended up getting a couple records. Uh, we went to Mellow Mask first and I got a couple of records I'm really excited about. So the first one is Changes to Bowie. Um, this is a compilation that's similar to Changes 1 Bowie, obviously. Um, Changes 1 Bowie is like the big greatest hits compilation that you hear a lot about. Um, I've been wanting to add changes to Bowie to my collection because it has some really great songs on it. Uh, and I've just not found a copy yet. This one was like 12 bucks and it's in really good condition. I also got a maxi single. This is Step by Step by New Kids on the Block. This has like the studio version and a couple different remixes on it. I saw this and it was like $2 and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. I have a couple of New Kids on the Block cassettes, but I don't have anything on vinyl, and their music is super nostalgic for me. So um, even though this is just a maxi single and it's not the full album, I had to have it because I have never seen a New Kids on the Block record in person. We also went to Melodies and Memories, which is another local record store we have. And I've been looking for this release specifically, and it is The Essential Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble. Um, my dad loves Stevie Ray Vaughan, and I remember listening to a lot of Stevie Ray Vaughan when I was a kid, because um, he really loves Stevie Ray Vaughan. So I honestly don't know a lot about Stevie Ray Vaughan um, specifically. I know probably more songs like if I hear them than if I just hear the name of them or something. So that's kind of why I got this essential one because while like his music is nostalgic, I heard it growing up, but I necessarily didn't really get into his music while I was growing up. So 
I don't really know like a lot of it by name. I don't know a lot of like full studio albums. So I thought this would be a really good place to start. And obviously like these are gonna be really big, really popular songs that I will more than likely recognize like, oh hey, my dad played that, I know that song. So this will kind of, I guess, get me um, more into his music because I really did enjoy um, the songs that I heard growing up. So this will kind of introduce me to his music. Yeah. I did also get a couple Journey albums that I'm really excited about. So every once in a while, you'll find a Japanese pressing at Melodies and Memories. And I ended up finding two Japanese pressings. So I'm really stoked. So the first one that I found was Journey's album Frontiers. And this is a phenomenal killer album. And again, when I saw the OB up there, I was like, yes, ma'am, I've got to have this. And then behind it was the album Raised on Radio and it had the hype sticker and I was like, oh my gosh, is this still sealed? Um, and it wasn't sealed, but like it was open. So it was still in the shrink and I'm not taking it out of the shrink um, cause I just thought it was so cool to still have the hype sticker on a Japanese pressing. Um, cause I've not had a hype sticker come on a Japanese pressing before. Like normally they're open and used and of course, this one was still open and used, but it was just so cool to find it in the shrink. And I cannot wait. This is such a good album, and it is one of my favorite Journey albums, so I'm super excited to finally have it on vinyl. I also got a couple records at Walmart because Walmart has some really good exclusives, and I enjoy them. I try not to get, like, a ton of them, but sometimes it's just really tempting. The first one that I got, this come out around Black Friday when they had their vinyl sale for Black Friday. And it is Stranger Things music from season one and two. And I've been trying to collect the Stranger Things like soundtracks and scores because I really love the series. And I really love the music that they do for the series. So I've been trying to collect all that on vinyl. And I thought this would be a really cool piece to add to my collection. And it comes on this like red vinyl. It's got some like black smoke in there. It's not a lot. I thought it was going to be a little bit more smoky than it really is. Because it was advertised as like a red smoke. But it's basically just kind of like a translucent red vinyl. I'm not mad about it though. It has really great songs from the show. And the show is set in the 80s, so it's a lot of really great 80s music. And if you know me really well, you know um, a little piece of my heart lies with 80s rock music. So really pumped to have that in my collection. A record I pre-ordered and then my pre-order got canceled. I think for a little bit, Walmart like kind of oversold on their pre-orders. I've had several pre-orders from Walmart like just get canceled and... I don't know why because it's like they release it and then my order gets canceled and then the record is still up for sale on their website so I don't know if they like oversold pre-orders I don't know if they had like a malfunction <laughs> in some of their pre-orders I don't really know what was going on but my pre-order for Demi Lovato's album Dancing with the Devil The Art of Starting Over got canceled and this album kind of got pushed back like it released um last year in 2021 and the vinyl was set to be out like toward the end of the year and then it kept kind of getting pushed back for a couple weeks and finally it released and it released I think like the 17th or so somewhere around there and so whenever we had went to our local record stores I was like you know what our local Walmart didn't have it maybe since we're in a little bit of a bigger town one of their Walmarts will have it the first Walmart we went in ended up having it and um, so I didn't go to any of the other Walmarts, but I really wanted to get the Walmart exclusive pressing because it is on this really pretty baby blue vinyl. It said it was going to be on like a teal vinyl and I thought maybe it would be on like kind of a pretty like trans like slightly translucent teal to match like this color here. Um, but it's more like a baby blue. So it's not like exactly as advertised. But this was still my favorite pressing of the album that come out. Um, there was, I believe, like a standard black. Target had an exclusive with the alternate album art. Um, and there was like an orange pressing at Urban Outfitters. I just really honestly preferred this one. So um, I also ordered another album from a independent record store. We got the Beats in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. 
Um, I have been, they have two stores. The, I've been to the one in Fort Lauderdale a couple times. Um, basically my dad and I would go on these cruises and there were a couple stores we would go to um, in Fort Lauderdale, Radioactive, and we got the Beats. Those were like my two favorite record stores in the area. There could be more, I'm not really 100% sure, but those were like the two that we visited every year that we went on this cruise. And so I follow them on Instagram because I really like seeing like what comes into their store and things like that. And We Got the Beats actually has like a web store. I honestly kind of thought I missed out on this album for a little while. I did not pre-order the Lockdown Sessions by Elton John. He had it up for pre-order on his web store. It was like a standard black. The pre-order sold out and I was like, you know what? I'll just get it at my local record store. That's kind of what I intended to do anyway. None of my local stores got the album and I was really sad. So that's whenever um, I kind of started to look online at his web store and found out it was sold out. And I was like, oh my gosh, did I miss my chance to get this? Like, is this gonna be hard to find now? And I literally, I like asked around. I could not find a copy of this anywhere other than on Discogs and I was not paying prices that they were asking on Discogs. Um, and then I saw that we got the beats posted on their Instagram that they were gonna have the, I don't know if it, I can't remember if it was UK or just European exclusive pressing of the album, which again, I didn't even know there was gonna be a colored pressing, but this is like the European exclusive. It's on a blue vinyl. Look at how pretty that is. The second I saw this like picture on the Instagram account, I was like, okay, I'm going to go pre-order this. And I ended up pre-ordering it and they sent it to me and I'm so pumped. I got to support a indie store in uh, purchasing this. So that was also really great. I'd also like to thank my friends, Mike and Dylan for hating me. Um, so I did not need this. I feel bougie owning this. I really did not need this. I still honestly can't believe that I have this in my collection. Certainly something I did not need because I already have a copy of this album, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So my friend Mike got this as like a birthday present and it kept getting like back ordered. So it was kind of technically a late birthday present. And he sent our group chat a video of this like playing and it sounded phenomenal. And then Dylan was like, oh, I'm getting a couple in at my store. I'm gonna get one. And I was like, oh hell. So then Dylan got his and like started sending clips of it to the group chat. God, I really need this. And um, Dylan was like, well, nobody has bought the copy that's at our store. Do you want it? And I was like, yes and no. Um, <laughs> Uh, the Mobile Fidelity One Step of Janis Joplin's album, Pearl. This is literally the most bougie record I own. I am not even joking when I say that. This is bougie. I don't need more of these because these are super expensive, but like, these sound amazing. The work that goes into these is absolutely stunning, and so I don't mind paying the 125 So, as you can tell, like, the box has, like, this gold foil around it, and it's kind of got like, um, and then the sides even have Janis Joplin pearl and gold foil. And then the back of the box, um, it has like the little stamp and your number down here. This was limited to 10,000 and my number is 7,835. I'm going to show you guys everything that's in here. <laughs> so first up, there's this little like padded piece of foam in there, which is really nice because it protects everything inside. Um, I did not know that this come with anything other than records. So I was really surprised when I opened this up. So there are a couple art prints in here and these are on like a really nice shiny card stock. Here's the second one. Look how gorgeous these are. You also get like a really nice booklet in here. This one says Pearl and has a picture of Janice. And then it says for all the good people who made her smile on the back and has another picture of Janice there. Like the amount of gold foil on this is shocking like it's just so pretty and this booklet itself is gorgeous like look at this i am 100 percent obsessed with these pictures of janice this is like just absolutely amazing like look how cool and this is such a nice like thick cardstock as well this is not like cheap 
it's not cheaply made it's just a hundred percent gorgeous i love it oh my gosh you also get like a little print in here kind of explaining the one step process which i knew come in here this is like something i'd seen um come in these before there's also a print of the album at like the back of the album art and then you have the two records which are actually in their own jackets and then the bottom of the box also has a padded piece in here so like extra bougie like i'm telling you this is like the most bougie album i've ever purchased each jacket has a picture of the album art for pearl and this one says lp1 and it has the track list for side one and side two on the back in the gold foil and then you have the same thing for lp2 down here and it's got the track list of this lp on the back in gold foil and uh, you guys can see the mobile fidelity label there these are absolutely stunning and then the last records that i'm going to show you guys for this haul um i actually did a little bit of variant collecting which i don't normally do but um i have become obsessed with bridgerton and i have all four variants of the album bridgerton is a netflix series um, it's also like a book series. It started out as a book series and then Shonda Rhimes read the books and really loved them and basically she's like, I want to make it into a series. So Netflix picked it up and, um, I'm going to take out one of the jackets and show you. Um, so the first side here is covers from Bridgerton and they covered some pop songs and like kind of turned pop into classical music. So you have songs like Thank You Next, Girls Like You, In My Blood, Bad Guy. That's really cool. And then the other side of the jacket, this is kind of like the poster for the season. Um, it has music from the series by Chris Bowers. Bowers. Uh, I'm not really sure how to say the last name, but it's also just like classical string music. So basically there was a Barnes and Noble exclusive, an Urban Outfitters exclusive, a US pressing that was like available pretty much anywhere in the US, um, and then a European exclusive pressing that was again available anywhere in Europe kind of. So um, I got all four. So the first one that I got in the mail was actually the Barnes & Noble exclusive one. And it is on this really pretty marbled blue vinyl. It was called Eloise's Dress Blue. Um, and it's just a really pretty marble blue. Then the next one that I got in the mail was the Urban Outfitters exclusive, which was on Bridgerton Sky vinyl. And it's like a clear with blue smoky swirl to it it's really pretty um this one i ordered on discogs and it is the u.s exclusive one that is on um daphne's dream purple and i thought this one was going to be my favorite because purple is my favorite color and it's this really gorgeous like light marbled purple color it's stunning but then um when I got this pressing in the mail, this become my favorite. So this is the European exclusive that um, is called Penelope's Pink. And it is this gorgeous pink marbled vinyl. It's so stunning. Like, look at that. So I think that's where I'm going to end part one and um, look out for part two because I'm, I've got some really awesome stuff in part two as well. So um, if you guys are new, please feel free to subscribe down below and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. In the comments below, let me know some stuff you guys have picked up recently and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.